the third lesson I have here, embouchure flexibility. I just talked about the embouchure as a trick and then the flexibility of how to get it rightly. In my previous lessons, and one of the lessons I've taught, I talked about um, how you can use flute to get a particular key, get different sounds of flute. And I talked about how that happens. That actually happens with your flexibility that you, of how you can get the embouchure very well. That's what I mean by embouchure flexibility. Once you can get it rightly, you can display it rightly. First of all, you have to get the right positioning like I taught earlier for the first lesson, the previous lesson I taught. And then when you get it rightly, then you can know the flexibility about, then before you'll be able to get what I'm talking about. Bishop flexibility. It's how flexible I'm good at putting in air into the embouchure hole that helps me to use one note to get different resonance. You have to get it rightly. The fourth lesson here is vibrations. The flute is like a bird and the vibrations made in playing the flute, you know, gives it the flute a unique nature of different kinds. These are some of the tricks you have to know about the flutes, which other instruments does not have. They, they, they are very unique, some simple sounds, you know, different kinds of way you can, you know, like this last one is talking about vibrations, it's a very, another very wonderful part. It doesn't come in all the instruments. The classical players plays very well more than the contemporary players with the contemporary players. But in contemporary music, you know, I had some places where I had to do vibrations and um, I do it rightly so that I can, you know, slow it into another key. For example, when I play the national anthem, there's a particular place that doesn't require vibration. So I put vibration there just to get some good sounds. Let me, the last part. Yeah. vibration you know in national anthem it doesn't require vibration but when i'm playing with the band and they wanted to key to me i want to give the kind of sounds i want i put it in there just to key with them this is a, it's a trick in flute but you know how you have to have the right way of putting it in when you are playing to get the right sound and you know create the right kind of verbs out that you want people to to hear when you are playing the flute the last lesson articulations articulate because the flute is a solo instrument, one of the great attributes you have is articulations, how you articulate that gives the different colors of the sounds of how it comes out of the flute. You know, it goes in different kind of colors. Is this is possible and easy to play because, you know, in the free nature, the flute itself is a solo instrument. So you can easily articulate from one, you know, you move from one note to the other. You articulate with your, you know, the right placement of the lips and then you move, you go. This, this actually, musical, uh, professional instruments, uh, professional players get this more better. As a beginner, this might not be the major thing you put your, your interest in first just to get out or articulate in playing the flute. First of all, get the right rhythm. It depends on what you have in, in mind so you want to rehearse. Some of you have gone far to the extent that you can play songs, some different kinds of songs that you've scored and you place in front of you. Get the, those notes properly first because it is wrong for you to not to get your notes properly and you want to articulate. No. You have to get the notes properly, you get the right music, the notes in front of you, get the music properly, play it well, and then you progress to articulate in the sounds of the music. Let me hear from you, let me hear how you're doing, let me hear how these lessons are, you know, 